where we just sold out Madison Square Garden three nights in a row. Please welcome Romeo Santos. Oh. What's up, Romeo? I'm good, man. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for being here. Early in the morning, all these people uh, either ditched school or didn't go to work today to come yeah, see you out here. Show, right? Well, congratulations are in order, first of all. Ten nominations yesterday at the uh, Billboard Latin Music Awards, man. Album of the Year, Artist of the Year, so uh, obviously a great year. And to top it all off, uh, your album's been number one for uh, 13 weeks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's really, well, first of all, it's really cold in LA. Yeah. No, I'm really excited, man. You know, I have great times. It's been a great year for me, and it's only getting better. I'm really excited. And uh, to top it all off, you sold out the Madison Square Garden three times in a row. Yeah. Uh, clearly, Nate out there has got to be extra special playing for you, right? Yeah, man, it's great. I mean, when I perform in New York, I, I feel like I'm performing in one of my three homes. Um, my other two homes, Puerto Rico and Dominican Republic. And it's really fun. I mean, I have amazing fans. Right? Yeah. We also have amazing guest performers. I heard uh, uh, Diddy and Usher came by. Yeah, yeah. Um, Tell I mean, me about that. How'd that I come about? What I do is every time I perform in New York, I try to give people surprises, and I normally like '09. Uh, we brought out Mark Anthony, Juan Luis Guerra, and this year I brought out Diddy, Usher, um, Anthony Santo, Luis Vargas. And on the album, you got uh, people like Usher and Lil Wayne. How did these collaborations come about? And I, were, were they already a fan of yours? Well, Usher was familiar with my music. Okay, so Lil, he was familiar. Lil huh? Wayne wasn't, you know, like yeah. he knew about the Aventura, you know, um, uh, you know, hype and everything. But um, I definitely put him on once we met. We're like, yo, this is what I do, you know. But he's a cool dude, you know. Like everyone I work with, for the most part, you know, they're familiar with my music, and I'm I'm a fan of theirs, you know. So yeah. when we get together, it's like very organic, you know. It's not like we gotta study what we do, yeah. you know. It's it's a mutual respect. Uh, and it's a great feeling, you know. Well, yeah, that's cool that you can appreciate each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Those are big time people right there oh, to be working yeah, with. Yeah. Who, who else would you like to collaborate with? <laughs> oh wow, JC, uh, Rihanna. The, the the list is long. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm Not sure they, 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 the feeling would probably be mutual. Of course, you're you're an original member of the group Aventura. How how was the transition uh, into this solo journey been? I mean, at first uh, I was very nervous. Of course, you know, every time I'm doing a new project, you know. I get that way. I'm like, oh, are people going to accept it? Are they going to like it? How are they going to react to my new music, my new project? But to be honest, you know, it, um, the one thing I, that, I, that I do feel weird about sometimes is when I look to my left and my right and I don't see, you know, my brothers, which have been with me for like over 14 years. But yeah. other than that, you know, I mean, the show must go on, you know, and it's it's a good feeling, you know, when you have great fans like this. You yeah, know? yeah. And, hey, and you never know. You go back, you do things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, like... is, this is just a pause, you know. We're definitely going to be doing an album on um, the end of 2013. Tell me about the Tonight Show appearance with Jay Leno. Oh yeah, that's tonight. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. big time there. Yeah, that's cool, man. You know, it's the first time I'm gonna be performing there, and I really feel good. You know, it's an honor to be one of. I believe I'm like the first Dominican that's gonna be performing there. Um, when a, one of the few Latinos has actually made it there, so it's it's really I'm really excited about that. A couple questions from a couple fans before we let you go. What kind of pointers can you give me to use on my girl? I came here since six in the morning. I worked at three at nine in the morning. What can you give me to use on my girl? <laughs> so, I mean, I cannot get an autograph just for her, so I'm trying to surprise her. That's pointers? a fan. That's uh, <laughs> well, I'm gonna have to say the first thing you need to do is you gotta take it to one of my concerts. I am March and 21st. I, March 21st. I'll, oh. I'll do all the talking for you. That's easy. Oh, yeah, right. you just play my music. Uh, right here. Good. Good. Your Girls get kisses. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some other ladies want to know: Are you single? Oh yeah, yeah. I only wear rings for fashion. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can I get oh, a now? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. So. So being is uh, single just uh, with the schedule being so rough and and um, um, you being on tour and stuff, it's a con conscious decision, or you just haven't met anyone special yet. Um, I just feel like the fans don't really, they, don't, they, don't, they always want me to be single, you know, so right. I just, right now I'm married to my career, you know, I'm just focused on, on just continuing to making them happy and we don't need no rings or no fingers right now, I'm too young for that. Romeo, man, thanks for coming by, brother, congratulations on everything. Romeo Santos, number one, the album Formula Volume 1 is available now for tour dates, just go to RomeoSantosOfficial.com.